One trophy down, another in their sights. Welcome back to sports, everyone. I'm Chaz Messman. Over the weekend, the Imperial Tigers captured their second consecutive San Diego Section CIF Softball Championship. And this afternoon, they began that chase for the state title. The Tigers came into the Division III tournament as the number three seed, and they hosted the number six seed JW North today. Bottom of the second inning, Maddie Magdaleno shoots one out into center field. Morella Barone races around third and scores. Magdaleno advances all the way to third after the mishandle behind the plate. Next at bat, Addison Clark at the plate, and she chops this one over the head of the third baseman. Magdaleno scores, and Imperial has an early 2-0 lead. To the fifth we go, Magdaleno hits one right up the middle. That's going to be another RBI, this time scoring both Clarissa Davila and Reagan Ray to double the Tiger lead. To the sixth we go, Davila lines one right up the middle into center field. Andrea De La Trinidad scores from second. Haley Lepe hustles around to score from first, and Davila will trot over to third. Later in the inning, Ray back at the plate, and she lines this one right down the left field line. Davila scores again, and Imperial tacks on a third insurance run in the inning to give themselves a seven-run lead. And Jaden Rutledge would close things out in the seventh to finish the seven nothing victory with a strikeout, a dominant performance from the junior tossing seven scoreless innings on the rubber. Here's Rutledge on her performance today and Magdaleno on the depth of the Tiger offense. I can't put that on myself that I do work as hard as I can like to do my best. And also it's my last year with my seniors. I feel like knowing that the last game is coming, it's like just pushing me to keep going because I want to be with them. We had zero errors every single play that we made. Like it was nice, like it was clean fielding. I think it just means that we have a lot of talent. I have complete faith in each and every person and I know that if um, one of us is off, another one will like just pick us up. I love my team and I just have so much confidence and faith when we play. The Tigers will head on the road to face the second seed Steel Canyon on Thursday. The winner punches their ticket to the state championship game. The Diamondbacks in a World Series rematch today with the Rangers. Paven Smith in the second, shoots one down the left field line. That's going to go all the way and bounce off the wall. In the awkward position, Christian Walker comes in to score from second, and Arizona strikes first. And they lead 2 to nothing going into the third inning. Now Josh Smith with the Rangers at the plate, and he lines this one just over the shortstop. That brings in the runner from second, and it will cut the D-back lead in half make it a 2-1 ball game. Moving on to the fifth inning, Corey Seager, the World Series MVP at the plate. And guess what? He does it again with the drive to deep right field. D-backs fans having nightmare flashbacks to October as Seager makes it 4-2 with the three-run bomb. And that would prove to be the game winner. Texas takes game one, 4-2, the series finale tomorrow morning. Major League Baseball umpire Angel Hernandez has retired after more than three decades. He has a reputation among many baseball players and fans as one of the worst umpires in baseball. His last game, May 9th, the Chicago White Sox and the Cleveland Guardians contest at Guaranteed Rate Field in Chicago. The 62-year-old Hernandez said he wants to spend more f time with his family. Hernandez joined the Major League Baseball staff back in 1993, two years after calling his first game as an umpire, as a call-up umpire. He umpired a dozen division series games, eight championship series, and two World Series, and three All-Star games. Hernandez was an often unpopular figure during his career and was often scored by E-rate fans, players, and managers for suspect calls and strikes and other controversial on-field decisions. In fact, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone booed louder in an MLB stadium than Hernandez. One guy that wasn't booed, though, Padres pitcher Jeremiah Estrada, who's now struck out 13 straight batters. That is now the longest streak in the expansion era that dates back to 1961. This guy's been unhittable lately, and that's still an active streak. Also today, Major League Baseball announcing that player stats from the Negro Leagues will be officially added to their databases. So you'll see some new faces among the all-time leaders in numerous statistical categories. So that's something to definitely check out if you're a big sports nerd like me. But for now, that's all we have time for in sports.